Hey guys, what's up? Today we have a supplement review number two from a gas station protein bar. Gas station. All right, guys, so today we have this pure protein bar. Last week it was Supreme Protein. Today it is all about the pure protein. They're all about telling you about the protein. So let's look at the package here. This is chocolate peanut butter flavor. Um, you can see right there, it says 31 grams of protein. It's pretty high. Uh, three grams of sugar. That impresses me that there's only three grams of sugar in this. Um, 310 calories, three grams of sugar. That's pretty good, okay? Also, right here, it is gluten-free. So it is saying it's gluten-free. So, so far, pretty good. Let's look at the nutrition facts. 310 calories, like I said before, only 10 grams of total fat, not bad. Uh, 25 grams of carbs, along with 31 grams of protein, so that's a pretty good split. 21 grams of, uh, 25 grams of, of carbs is not that big of a deal when you have 31 grams of protein, like that's pretty pretty good. Um, and there's, there's not a whole lot of, I mean there's three grams of sugar, some other stuff in there, that's pretty good. Let's get the um, ingredients, because I'm, I'm uh, interested about the ingredients here. Okay, let's see. Uh, chocolate flavored codeine is the first thing. Um, it's just whey protein, some oil, some cocoa, uh, peanut flour. There's a couple of other things. It's a little bit more um, chemically looking than the other one I had. Um, it is, it is uh, sweetened with sucralose, which is pretty good. Um, but then there is. There's some other stuff in there, some stuff I, I don't know what it is. Um, so, I mean, if I saw that, I may be a little bit hesitant about this part, but the, the macros and stuff are pretty good. Um, so, I think that kind of cancels it out, in my opinion. Um, yeah, although it does have a warning, this product contains sugar alcohols, which may cause gastrointestinal discomfort. Excessive consumption may have a laxative effect. Well, good. I hope that happens. Like, I needed any more help with that function. Um, it also says that for best results, you should have eight fluid ounces of water or other liquid with this bar. So I'm going to do that. Whatever the instructions are, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go get some water and cut this bad boy open so you guys can see what it looks like. All right. So I just got back from cutting it open. Here's the bar. It looks like itself. It's a big, pretty, pretty big, thick bar. Um, it also, it looks like it's got some crispies and some peanut butter and stuff in there. I mean, it is peanut butter flavor. So, I'm going to get some water because it says I have to. Alright. Smells good. Smells really good. Here's a little piece. So, this will be the first bite. Here we go. It's not softer than I thought it was. So I think it would be hard. But it's actually pretty soft. Chocolate around. Some of the bar is really good. The peanut butter, eh, it's a little bit odd tasting. Um, but with the little crisp, crisp rice pieces in there, it makes it, it makes it a little bit more better. Um, more better. It makes it better. Uh, the peanut butter is okay though. I mean, I, I'll be able to eat it all, no problem, but it's not the, the greatest thing I've ever had. So, I'm going to eat it, have my water, and we'll see how I feel after I eat it. Alright, last bite. So first thing first, I do want to say that as I got through the bar a little bit more, the peanut butter, it grew on me. It actually tasted a lot better than it did the, 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 with the first bite. The consistency was a lot different as I got through the bar. It was more of like a, um, not cake, but like a, a kind of a spongy texture. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that it just because I cut it and it looked that way, but it was actually better as I got through the bar. So I, I did enjoy it. It was good. 
Um, it's not really a, a meal replacer bar, 310 calories. Most of the meal replacer bars are around 400 calories. Um, so it's not really a meal replacer, but it's more calories than like an energy bar, which usually have around 200 calories or so. So it's pretty much just trying to be a straight protein bar. Um, I would say use this if you're going to uh, go work out um, and you want to put a little protein in your body uh, either before or after a workout. I would say it's a good bar. Um, I liked it. Um, it tasted fine. Um, I hope it doesn't give me that laxative effect because I'm going to go see a movie. And I don't want to have a laxative effect. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. But um, it's just eating a bar from a, from a gas station. Like I said, it was like two bucks, three dollars. It's gluten free, which is awesome. A lot of people are looking for gluten free these days. And it is. Pure protein. Hey, I like it. It's pretty good. Um, so we'll see. If I have any laxative effects, I'll let you know in the next video. Um, like I said before, uh, I'll put my link to my Facebook down in the, in the bottom here. Um, leave me some comments. Uh, let me know if there's a certain supplement you guys want me to do. It doesn't always have to be a protein bar. I'll do pre-workouts, protein powders, whatever you guys want me to do. Um, I'm just, no one's giving me any, any feedback yet, so I'm just getting gas station protein bars, which is what these have been. So, that burp tasted disgusting, by the way. Ugh, there's a bad effect of it. Um, anyways, um, if that's the worst effect, that will be okay. Um, but anyways, yeah, so uh, click on the link below. Um, and uh, give me some give me some feedback. Let me know if there's anything you guys want me to do a review. Until next time, 